Where is fashion getting inspired? I was like seeing this trend of these bags that are kind of Peruvian style or Mexican style like this Indian uh, manufacture and you could see those bags selling in Colette in 350 euros and we find them in our markets for 30 pesos. I'm Fabiola Zamora. I'm a photographer. I started this project of 192 with Danae four years ago of the magazine. I'm Danae. I'm a journalist and it's the project of our lives. The idea of 192 is to be a fashion and culture magazine. It's an independent magazine. The content is not only about what's going on in Mexico City. We try to do editorial content from the places where we travel, photo shoots, interviews, etc. It's a magazine that we feel we would like people to collect. It's not like this kind of magazines that you just throw away. You know, it's just like something you want to keep. We live and work in Colonia Roma. It's an old neighborhood and it has like a lot of art galleries and uh, restaurants. It's getting a fashion neighborhood. I believe that right now Mexico is starting to develop a lot in fashion. It's not like something strong yet in terms of the local fashion, but there is more and more an interest in things that are going around the world, you know, like this concept stores or boutiques. And it's something that it didn't exist 10 years ago in Mexico City. I used to live in New York and I feel there is a, a special vibe that we share here in the city. You can find inspirations everywhere because the, the culture is so rich, it's so colorful, there are amazing places. It's a city where also the art scene, like the contemporary art scene, has been growing a lot. A lot of our artists, Mexican artists, are recognized worldwide and I think that opened a lot of things for, for the city in terms of art, fashion and culture. Mexico City is a city where it's possible to do many things that maybe it's not possible to do in other countries, you know? And here a lot of young people are doing opening bars, opening restaurants, opening magazines, doing their fashion uh, collections, doing their art uh, pieces. Young people that are starting to do many projects that maybe in some other places you need to be older or have like a more solid economic situation to, to develop those projects. It's a privilege, I, I, I feel, you know. The future is just like keep working hard and growing the magazine and trying to distribute it in some other places in the world. Right now it's here in Mexico City. We also have a distribution in Paris and in Berlin. So the idea is to keep growing. So for us, there is a, still a, a long life for 192 ahead.